Howdy gang, it's Chris Angel. And what are we doing today? We are, ha we are having another episode of marketing for the rest of us is what we're doing. And uh, today we're gonna keep this episode or this series, sorry, this series of about anger going. Um, I was uh, out here dis dismantling a table. Here it is, there's the table, there are the legs. It's all part of this backyard sprucing up and remodel. And I tripped. I stubbed my toe on one of those legs that I just showed you uh, that I take that I took off the table and it uh, totally uh, jammed my pinky toe. So obviously there was the initial expletives, which is appropriate and well warranted if, you, if I don't say so myself. You know, a good F-bomb here and there really satisfies uh, the initial uh, jolt of pain you experience when you stub your toe. And, and... Here's the cool part uh, in this <laughs> in this discovery of anger is uh, I let the pain happen. I was like, oh yeah, that really hurts. And then and then I had a moment to decide where I was going to go next, right? Like where I would normally go, where I've been going um, in the spirit of anger, not not having things the way I want, when I want, how I want, would be like. I shouldn't have stubbed my toe. I should be more coordinated. Those things shouldn't have been there. That shouldn't have happened, right? And so then I passed that first jolt of anger where I stubbed my toe, which is totally an appropriate response. I would then take that and I would continue down the road of blaming, uh, projecting, um, and just living in a story called, it shouldn't be that way. That shouldn't have happened. And that could have, I don't know, the, listen, the residue of that could have lasted for 10 minutes, could have lasted an hour. I don't know, could have set off my whole day to go a different direction. So let's call this, uh, let's, for example, let's call this first anger, second anger. Years ago, I heard, I think it was actually from Gary Keller, but years ago, um, I took a class called Quantum Leap, which Gary Keller wrote. And uh, Gary Keller is the author of The One Thing, by the way. Um, and in the program, he talked about first creation, second creation, which I don't actually think was his thing, but I think first creation, second creation was like, first we create a thought in our mind and then we create, uh, and then, then there's the second creation of what that thought turns into in reality, right? But it came to me a day that there's like a first anger, second anger, isn't there? There's the first thing, the trigger, the thing like stubbing your toe. And then there's second anger, which is what do you do after that initial trigger? Do you continue to embellish and live inside the story of that anger, creating thus a second lifespan of that anger, a continuation of that anger? Or or if you can uh, uh, detach, as we talked about in yesterday's episode, if you could detach from the moment and be present with the pain, be present with the fact that my toe hurts be present with the fact that that just happened rather than saying it shouldn't have been that way now i actually can open up into something new there can be a new creation rather than a continuation of the anger i just experienced right so we're going to call this first anger second anger and you could probably apply this to a lot of other things right first jealousy second jealousy but there is the thought there is the first thought and then there's your second thought yes you don't always control your first thought. Sometimes it's just a trigger and it happens, but you do control your second thought. And that's what I'm, you know, I've done a lot of that kind of work in my life, but as it relates to anger, now I'm starting to press into that. Like, okay, okay, let's take that same lesson and apply it now into anger. Okay. So very, very freeing, very exciting. Here, here let's, let's pivot this now to you, right? Let's, let's go look at your, uh, your life, your business, your marketing, since that's the topic of our show. Uh, although, you may have already had some good um, inspirations from this about other things in your life. And there are, are, around the conversation of marketing, there's so many things that can be triggers, right? Maybe you ran an ad and it didn't produce the results you wanted. Maybe you um, feel like you have to learn technology, but you but every time you, you try to do it, do technology, it's just um, a massive trigger for you. Maybe uh, you had somebody say they want to be in a program and they were going to pay and then they stopped and they went a different direction. And so that made cash flow tight. Look, there's so many places where we get triggered. The trick gang is, as I'm learning, is to begin to acknowledge it rather than hide from it. Don't, don't, 
don't shift your attention away from it and be like, oh, I can't look at that right now because that freaks me out. So I'm gonna go distract myself over here, right? With however, whatever your distraction of choice is. Rather, look at it, stare it in the face, be with it, detach from the, the anger, the second anger of it, and just be with what it is in this moment. You're like, oh yeah, like that hurt, that sucks. But don't, but, but see if you can not go into second anger, okay? You can't always control first anger. First anger just happens, you, just, you get triggered and that happened. And then what you do with that, whether you detach and notice it and dance in it, or you, get, you, you take it further, you take that residue further into second anger, that's completely up to you. And that's where you start to experience your power, right? I, I felt powerful today after I stubbed my toe and chose not to go into second anger. I was like, ah, hmm. Got it, and I was able to move right into what's next for me rather than like completely have some toxic, you know, searing hot anger going on in my head. So that's it for today, gang. Like, marketing is a journey. There's no overnight success in marketing. And, and most of you need more work, more repetitions in the, in the area of articulating your message, designing and delivering programs. Like, you need more repetition. And the reason you don't have the repetition is because you keep getting triggered. And then in that trigger, you take it, you have first anger, and then you take that anger and you go into second anger. And now you have this whole story and evidence and residue around marketing and you put that there you put that residue there by taking first anger into second anger that was your choice you're the powerful one that created that but do you see because if you can own that you created that then you can own your power because you're the one that did that so if you can own that power then you can also own that it could go another way and you would be the powerful one causing it to go a different way but you need more repetitions in your business, in your marketing. You need more repetitions. And for some of you, you're not doing the repetitions because you're stuck in second anger. You're stuck in the anger of it all. So that's it, gang. That's it. If you'd like help, right? Sometimes getting out of it is out of that second anger is just having a different way, a different approach. And much of what I teach in my uh, six-week program, the Groundswell Method Intensive, is all about how do we actually begin to shift our energies into the creation of our message and, and do the reps in a way that doesn't feel as frustrating right? by using frameworks. And in that, in that six-week program, I teach you frameworks for how to capture the things you want to say to the world and share them in a way that actually resonates. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can go to groundswellmethod.com, groundswellmethod.com. The link is in the text of this post. And... Um, and you're going to, at that link, uh, you'll see some videos waiting for you there. And on the last page of those videos is an application button. You just click apply today and it, you fill out the application. It comes directly to me. I review it and off we go. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me here in this episode. Here's to you. Here's to you finding your power even inside your anger. See you tomorrow.